Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, it's good, it's cool. In this video I'm inserting a new palette in my Palette Infinity series uh, because I probably will be taking soon a break of the Shroud Arcana palette. Once I've kind of explored all the shades, uh, I just want to kind of try new palettes and um, kind of go back to it later on to get, get more creative around this. So just give a bit of time, you know, kind of simmering in the background. <laughs> Uh, especially a new palette uh, that I want to try, which I'm really excited about. I think it needs to be in this series because of the broad variety of looks I think you can create. And it is the uh, Muse Beauty Impressionism palette. It's kind of a rainbow style palette with very uh, spring-like summery uh, shades with a little bit of uh, autumn side of the top. So very springy you know baby blues like these kind of minty greens and stuff so yeah and i just want to use it before autumn kicks in so i thought i could start using it now and um, yeah i'm really excited it's also the uh palette i bought myself for my birthday it's one of the few palettes i bought this year so i'm really excited to open it and uh, yeah play with it before we get started i'm not a singer so i don't know why i do that <laughs> Uh, before we get started, if this is your first time here, hi, my name is Celeste, I love cruelty-free makeup, skincare, as well as indie brand um, eyeshadow palettes. Because I think indie brands really have superior eyeshadows. That's just... The other day I tried an Anastasia Beverly Hills palette, actually the only one I have, I was actually really unimpressed by the quality. So yeah, if you're interested in any of these topics, hobbies, whatever you want to call them, then consider subscribing for more similar content. Uh, I would love to have you here. And let's get into the tutorial part. So I've got a plan today. So let me explain to you my plans. Uh, the This eye look is kind of inspired by, I think it was the first uh, palette potential video that Madeley did on her channel, I'll link that up there. And um, she started creating a look and then she didn't like it, she was not super happy with it, so she changed it. But there was like a specific combination I was really like, really enjoying and it is like using almond kind of more inside the eye and like Amarathin, Amarathin, Amarathin uh, on the outer eye. I just feel like these color combined would be very, very cute. I love this, this raspberry shade. It's very, very pretty. So yeah, I think what I could do is like do kind of a reverse situation. So uh, while this is on the outside, this would be the shimmer on the outside. And on the inside, it would be Water Lily, which is that beautiful pink. I'm debating between using Starry or Coast, but I think I might use Starry because uh, it will kind of be a bit deeper, so it will probably work better uh, in that placement. I feel like I have an idea for this shade for another look, so yeah, that's what we're doing. Uh, I could do some blush draping into a very pink blush, cool tone, so that's kind of the plan. And let's hope it works out. My hair is looking so white today. I washed it yesterday, but it just, I look like I have, I don't know. I don't like Lord Farquhart for some reason. Anyway, uh, let's do this. There's something we need to do. Oh, that felt nice. I wouldn't say cure my depression, but it was really close. I feel like if I keep doing that for a few days, I might feel better. Anyway, uh, let's prime the eye. Urban Decay Primer Potion in Eden. Kind of know the drill. I don't really like this base. I prime my face while this is sitting in. I'm so close to finishing this, which I'm really looking forward to. Ah, I knew there was some left. Gosh, I'm so obsessed with this sunscreen. Uh, there's a sunscreen I started trying because Garnier is now cruelty free and I heard very good things about this one. It's mainly because I have never really tried European sunscreen because I think YouTube is so Americanized that I didn't realize that, you know, they say about, oh, 
Western sunscreens suck, but what they really mean is American sunscreens suck. Because in Europe we have access to like uh, more advanced um, UV filters. Anyway, getting off subject here. I just love this one. I'll show this one, which one it is. Uh, but the only thing is it breaks me out. I'm like this close to finishing it, so I'm just finishing it. But it just looks so good on the skin, uh, under makeup. It just smooths everything. I think pr probably because it has silicone in it, so it makes it like a kind of a primary style sunscreen. Now that we're all primed, let's get into this palette. I'm gonna start with Almond, which is the beautiful, it's kind of a, it's not really powdery blue, but you know, it's kind of that vibe. Picking that up on the Delium Tools 783, I'm just gonna build that up in the front part of the eye. I'm just gonna flick that out just a tiny bit, and I'm gonna marry the raspberry shade as well in there. It's got an interesting formula, it kind of, <clears throat> it's very sheer on application, but when you stamp it, you get like crazy pigment, but it shares out crazily, which is quite good, because it means you can kind of blend it easily, but at the same time can build up very easily, so I feel like it would probably be quite um, beginner friendly. Uh, cool, let's get dig into a marathon, which is the raspberry shade. I'm picking that up on E Sigma E42, which is like a small, firm blending brush. I'm just gonna pack that on the outside. Kind of creates that purple with the blue. Don't no matter. Let's just build up a bit more arm and back. This reminds me, she belongs, right? Okay, I think I'm fine with this. Um, it's quite interesting, you see where I packed up, it kind of deepened, which I quite like, I like the shades that you can like pack up to get like a more deep version of the shade, but then you can kind of blend it, you get a different color, I love this kind of formula. However, I don't feel like it layers like the best with the purple, it kind of creates that kind of sheerness that I would get uh, with the blue, because like when I would apply the blue and blend it, it kind of creates that quite sheer color. I think it's just the blue that kind of doesn't match well with the rest, but uh, I think we're gonna play with this. I'm gonna cut a crease with some, oh fuck, did I take my glitter primer? I don't think I did. Hang on. Got my next glitter primer. And I'm gonna pick that up on like a flat um, packing brush. So just taking a dollop of it, just about that much, and we're gonna cut a crease with it. So I don't explain uh, it's some that I use it, which I probably should, but I use glue primer because it's quite nice to create a cut crease. It's a bit less messy than a concealer. It can make it more soft, but especially it helps uh, shimmers to really stick you can like the shine more uh, when you use that. It also prevents glitter from falling all over like spikes, which is quite nice. Let me get closer to my mirror so I can go spare. Ooh, I haven't created such a nice cut crease shape in a while. I haven't done cut crease in a while actually. Well, kind of like a proper, I guess, cut crease. Uh, now that's nice and sticky. I'm gonna pick up Water Lily, which is that beautiful pink, on the same sticky side of the brush. And uh, I'm gonna place it in my inner space. Oh, these are pretty. They don't, they don't look like crazy in the pan, but like on the eye, they're very beautiful shimmer. And what I like to do if I'm using two shimmers on like a cut crease, croissant shape uh, is you see how it like it's quite thick here and then the more you get on the outside it gets thinner and you get you kind of take it all the way but then the other one will kind of like merge it's kind of like a almost yin and yang situation and I think that's very pretty it kind of elongates the eye so I really like doing that lovely and on the other side 
Um, let me think. I'm gonna pick up Sari, which is, I guess, a Van Gogh, Van Gogh, I don't know how you say, a Van Gogh reference to Starry Night. But they send me uh, like a um, little piece of paper with like explanation on the shades, but it's for the Rococo palette. So I was kind of like, oh no. But I guess I could go on the website and like check them out. Cool. And then I'm going to place that on the outer lid. And now I'm gonna pick up on my flat brush each uh, shimmer shade on each side of the brush. I'm just gonna alternate to help blend them together. Um, cool, I don't know if I love this to be honest. Um, let me just grab more arm in the blue shade and pack her above. Oh my goodness, for sake. You might actually come in, but you can't come out. Cool, I just spent 30 minutes trying to get a wasp out of my flat because it does understand that windows are transparent, but they are solid objects, so I'm just kind of... Anyway, uh, let's try and finish this look, which I'm not loving so far, but we might enjoy it uh, later on. So I added more almond onto the eye to kind of reinforce that. Uh, let's go into Amarathon, that uh, raspberry shade. Just a tiny bit, I'm just gonna merge with the um, shimmer. And what I might do is, um, I might pick up like a little date detailer brush. This is the Smoky Eyeliner from Daring 2716. I'm gonna pick up a little bit of haystacks, uh, which is like a dark brown. I'm gonna use it to kind of try and define more that curve so that it looks better. Uh, so I'm just going over the line here. Yeah, I don't think that did what I wanted it to. <sighs> Let's just go back and blend. Oh. Let's um, set the wing. I'm just gonna try and put on some lashes and see how I feel if I want to start over or not because having lashes can make everything better. Uh, so yeah, I'll be back in two. All right, I think I'm able to dry with that. I think the only thing is I probably shouldn't have taken the blue so far in. I think I shouldn't have done the what I usually do which is like the yin and yang uh, shape. So I think I'll just repeat that on the other eye and then try and finish the look because I don't want to give up. I feel like it's savageable I think. I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> I'll see you in a bit, I'll just do that on the other eye and do my foundation and stuff and we'll finish up the eye and the first makeup. All right, I think now I'm, I'm feeling much better about the look. I think it looks a lot nicer that it's been cleaned up and I'm just kind of, I think the thing is I probably shouldn't use like um, that blue that much on the outside because I feel like when you look at the front, it looks nice because it's that depth but when you turn around, there's like, obviously because it's a shimmer, it doesn't work as well, but that's okay. I think it looks very nice. So let's uh, move on to the look. I think I'm gonna keep it fairly simple um, for the lower lash line, I think. And now I'm gonna take some of that amaranthine, 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 uh, raspberry shade. I'm gonna blow that under my eyes. I'm, I don't think I'm gonna take it under the wing. I, I quite like that blended cut, if that makes sense. I think I'm just gonna concentrate here. <clears throat> and what I might do is pick up that same color onto like a smaller 
brush and just kind of like smudge it along the lower lash line. And what I might do as well is kind of blow it out just a tiny bit out, but not really following the uh, direction of the wing. So just kind of almost kind of a, like a drag eye situation, kind of leaving a bit of space underneath. I think that would look quite cool. And I might take uh, like a black pencil and kind of smudge that and kind of follow the wing going down onto the lower, lower lash line just to kind of add a bit of depth here. And then just smudge it with that same small brush just to blend it. Um, let's pick up some of my blush. This is the KVD Everlasting Blush in Rosebud. It's like a very grey tone pink. And I'm gonna pick that up on the same brush I use for the pink for the uh, raspberry color. I'm just gonna pick that up on that brush and just kind of blend the edges with this on the outside. So. And I'm going to apply the blush, so I'm going to use my Cosette S123 brush, uh, lightly touch because it's very pigmented, and start applying this. Really concentrating it on my cheekbones, slowly building up that color, taking it a bit inward onto the apple of the cheeks. Let's do a little bit on the nose. Isn't it kind of funny that I said it was a nice like springy palette and I ended up going with like the cool tones and making a very cool tone look? I guess so. Uh, you know what, I might just put actually some blush on my chin to make it seem a bit, a bit more elongated because since I shaved recently I have a double chin, I don't really like that. Lovely. Uh, just to finish up the eye, what I might do just take a tiny bit more of that pink once again and just blend that over here. Because I quite like the idea of seeing it kind of stand out like this. Yes. Like so. Yes. Lovely. Kind of creates that really winged shape. Uh, let's do a little bit of a glowy blush, Physician's Formula Butter Blush, and Nude Silk. Just gonna go onto the apples of the cheek and the cheekbones, get a bit of luminosity. Is there some highlighter? Let's first put on a slight base of neutral metallic highlighter with the Flower Beauty Lift and Sculpt palette. Just picking a little bit of that, just adding that onto the cheekbones, slightly in the apple of the cheeks, but not too much because I find that sometimes in faces, I feel like it makes my pores stand out if I put too much glowiness, glowy powder on it. And now I'm gonna pick up a fuchsia highlighter. I'm gonna use the Mars Melter. This is the old formula of the um, Kaleidos Space Age highlighter. So this is way more fuchsia than it is now. Now it's like a red. That's what the formula looked like. I don't know why I can't show you like swatches of things. It's so freaking annoying. Let's apply her where I put my highlighter. Just a little bit on the forehead to connect everything together. Okay, when I said a little bit, I didn't mean that much. Shit. I guess I have a fuchsia forehead now. Uh, let's do uh, inner corner highlight. I think we're just gonna use Wisp from this palette because it seems like a night weight. Inner corner highlight. 
Oh, she's bright. I didn't realize that. Mm. How curious on how bright it is. Okay, she's like a silver girl. I thought she would be a bit more golden. She's more like a silvery white, if that makes sense. I think I should, I should pray a swatch on the hand, on the on this side of the hand. Anyway, all right, I think I'm quite happy with that. So I think we can spray her down, put on a whip, and put on a lip and call it down. For lips, I was debating between two things. Could either go matte or gloss. Um, I think I might go with the lipstick. Well, that would be quite nice with this. I kind of fancy that lipstick because it's one of my favorite <coughs> neutral lipstick to wear. So I might just do that because I haven't worn it in a little while. Thank to by lining my lips with um, Dose of Colors Lip Liner in Escape. No, Nitty Gritty. And now let's throw on Dose of Colors Mondays, which is a beautiful, like, brownie terracotta movie color. Hey, welcome back. I just realized that I should have moved you back when I did my face makeup, but it's fine. It's gonna be okay. Cool. Um, how do we feel about this look? I really, really enjoy it. I think it took me a while to like really enjoy it and I'm still kind of iffy about it, but I think I just need to learn and trust the process and uh, understand that things cannot always go perfectly and things cannot always be perfect and I forgot to clean up my mascara as much as. Concerning this palette, we only used four shades so far, but they are very, very pretty shades. I find the blue a bit difficult to work with, but it wasn't hor horrendous. And from what I understood, it was probably one of the most difficult shades to work with that and that very pastel green at the bottom left. I find the color story reminds me a lot of another palette I have. Let me grab it for you. So yeah, this palette reminds me quite a lot of the, um, is Beauté um, Flare Palette. So as you can see, there's like similar, like a similar rainbow vibe to both of them, but the undertone is very different. So on the uh, Impressionism, we have a very like springy summer palette. This is way more like kind of grungy going into autumn uh, shades. It's just slight variations of colors, which I feel like makes that palette still different enough. Um, after that difficult makeup session, uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and play a bit of Final Fantasy XIV because I think I deserve a little break. <laughs> if you want to support me on my channel, you can give this video a like, you can leave a comment. Any interaction with my videos help me gain visibility in the YouTube algorithm and that's always appreciated as a creator. So thank you. If you don't know what comment to leave, but you still want to support me, you can leave a comment with just this emoji related to spring as a way of interacting with my video. And I thank you very much for your efforts. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope to see you very, very soon. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye.